Hi everybody, Stefan Molyneux from Freedom Main Radio. In the continuing series of ZOMG, I can't believe I'm saying this on a philosophy show, we now turn our attention to Kathy Griffin. She is a comedian for about 10 years. She hosted CNN's New Year's Eve party, sometimes with Anderson Cooper, to whom she gave a pretend blowjob while he giggled, because, you know, I guess that's just entertainment in the 21st century. She's got a book out. She had a reality show, I think. She was on Seinfeld uh, years and years ago. And, uh, well, she did something culturally momentous tonight. The repercussions will be felt for some time to come, which is why I'm going to devote just a little bit of time to this. I strongly urge you to hang in there. The point will be staggering. Uh, oh, another thing I remember Kathy Griffin for some years ago. She got an Emmy and she said, Suck it, Jesus, this award is my God now. I guess she's serving the God you don't look upwards to see, <laughs> metaphorically. Now, before we get to what she did, which you probably heard of, but you see, Kathy Griffin, extraordinarily sensitive to any aggressive potential depictions of anything aggressive in, uh, in politics, right? So, so back in the day, this is in 2011, she tweeted this. Watching the news, Congresswoman in Arizona, who is on Sarah Palin's crosshairs map, was shot in the head today. Happy now, Sarah? So what she's referring to is part of Sarah Palin's campaign at the time. There were these crosshairs on Democratic areas on her website, and it was like, let's go retake these and so on. And it's a common thing. The Democrats have had those same things, too. It doesn't mean go shoot people. It's just, you know, these are our targeted areas for switching from Democrat to Republican and so on. But you see, Kathy Griffin, so incredibly sensitive to any potential aggression in political discussion, political planning, or anything like that, just absolutely appalled. Blamed Sarah Palin, it would seem, for the woman who got shot. And then she tweeted, same time frame, I'm not trying to be funny at all. I find that incendiary crosshairs map and the reload rhetoric to be scary. Don't you retweet. See, she believes, Kathy Griffin believes, that aggressive, assertive, or violent imagery anywhere in politics leads to murder, leads to an assassination attempt. This delicate flower who just can't bear, faints, gets all breathy, literally shaking, when a crazy guy shot up this congresswoman. Because, Sarah playing in had crosshairs on her website. This woman posed ISIS style, holding up Trump's, a, a simulacrum obviously, Trump's bloody severed head. Holding up Trump's bloody severed head, like ancient Aztec football style. Now she's not smiling. I don't know how you'd make that funny. She's not punting it. This is dead-eyed, shark-eyed, doll-eyed, staring into the camera, holding up Trump's bloody severed head. Straight on assassination porn. The Secret Service taking this very seriously. I've already tweeted that they're looking into it. Now, she's known to be a lefty. She's very pa pally with the Dems, uh, pals around with Al Franken. The Democrats claim that she's helped raise the money and so on. She's 56 years old. Seems to spend a lot of her time naked-ish. She's tweeted topless pictures of herself recently, like this weird anti happening. I don't know, she's trying to turn on Emmanuel Macron. I don't know. I don't understand. Now, a lot of violence against Trump has been simulated in the art world. Snoop Dogg was pretending to shoot Trump. Uh, as Trump sort of This Trump figure was dressed up as a clown. Marilyn Manson, in a video, was beheading a Trump look-alike but okay, Snoop Dogg and Marilyn Manson, they're not hosting CNN's New Year New Year's Eve party. Although I, I guess I would actually watch that. But hey, do you remember how insanely outraged the left-wing media was when there was this rodeo clown who wore a Barack Obama Halloween mask and he was driven out of his job and everyone involved had to take sensitivity training because you see, they're just so sensitive. Remember how outraged and upset that they were concerned that Donald Trump supporters might be violent, might be aggressive. 
Leftists always project whatever, whatever they're accusing you of, they're planning on doing. Now, this has gone on before this kind of violent imagery. The German magazine, Der Spiegel, showed on the cover U.S. President, of course, Donald Trump. He was beheading the Statue of Liberty, right? So this coarseness, this 